but Northumberland is definitely tugging at the heartstrings, I've got to say. Hello everyone and welcome back. We're Cheska and Ben and with our pup River we live and travel full time in our sprint van, Sophia. We spent last week exploring Northumberland National Park, which is seriously beautiful with epic views around every corner. This week we head to the Northumberland coast for the next leg of our shakedown cruise. White sand beaches, castles that rise out of the sea, Northumberland, you are something else. Subscribe and join us for the ride with new videos every Sunday. it to the coast. We have now left Northumberland National Park. We have made it across the coast where we are going to be heading down north to south. So many of you recommended the coast on our Instagram saying how absolutely beautiful it was. The first stop on the agenda this morning is Holy Island which is a little island just off the coast also called Lindisfarne. You can only get to it at low tide which is pretty cool. At high tide the causeway is submerged so oh, Ruth is falling asleep here. Ready to go? Look how busy it is, jeez. In 683 AD, St. Aidan came to this island from Iona, founding his monastery here. It became an important base for the spread of Christianity throughout England. The island has a beautiful castle that stands above the sea, but we made our way to the quiet beaches and sand dunes on the hunt for seals and some fresh sea air. Well, I was promised we'd get to see some seals and I've seen the seals out at sea because I've seen their little heads like that and Chess said if we walk all the way around here we'll see some seals and we've got here no seals no seals Chess Yeah, it's all the way over there, so we're gonna head back this way now and try and beat high tide. Okay, well let's try here, shall we? See how we get on. We've just pulled up to this little park up for the night. It looks like it's gonna have the most amazing views out over the sea. It is on a main road and I have read the reviews that said it's a little bit noisy, but it does calm down at night. But to be honest, I really don't mind given this location. There's another camper just down there. In fact, you can park all the way along here. So yeah, the tide is out at the minute, but obviously I think the sea comes all the way in here, which should look pretty awesome tonight. I think someone's tired from her morning running around the holy island, aren't you, River? She's trying not to fall asleep sitting up. So it's a little bit later now and we've just been watching the tide come in and it's come in literally so fast like one minute the sea was like on the horizon and the next is 20 like feet that. away huh no 30 feet there we go it's a little bit windy today so we've not had the door open but i'm hoping this evening i mean let me try it now oh that's not too bad Just not, at the top of it. No, you can't see on camera. Look, see it. See it moving. What is it? It's a, there's a doe. <laughs> no. There's a deer on the path we're going up. Look. So we're just going to take River for a little walk. There's this little footpath opposite where we're parked. And just up there a minute ago was a deer. Just like in the middle of the path. We might still be able to see her. Look, she's gone into the other field. Look at that for a sunset. Hey? Tide's going out now. Hopefully we'll have a nice quiet-ish sleep. Is it, it's not, it's really unusual to see just one deer on their own. So there might be more about. You can just see it running away. Wow. Picking up 
change off the street. Yeah, my crew's around slightly buzz music play. That's gorgeous, isn't it? What a difference. It's been really crap weather for the past uh, few days. Four days. Yeah. And today it's just turning and it's absolutely beautiful. The sun's shining. Both Ben and I have completely fallen in love with Northumberland from last week in the National Park and it was just so wild and like remote and just epic. And then to have come down to the coast this week and be treated to views like this, which is just amazing beaches, the sea, and then like castles rising out of the sea. Like it is just incredible. I've, I've always thought the only place that I'd want to live is Devon. That's where my heart is, that's where I class my home as. But Northumberland is definitely tugging at the heartstrings, I've got to say. I could probably quite happily live here. Both Ben and I have said we could probably live here. Despite being right next to the road, we slept so well last night. It was really peaceful, really quiet. There was just one other camper on this little stretch with us. Woke up to the tide coming in. It was absolutely beautiful. Today, we're gonna head off into a little village called Sea Houses, which is a little kind of seaside village. Maybe get some fish and chips and just go and see some civilization for a while because it feels like we haven't been around people in ages. It is busy in sea houses. Wow, even the overflow car park is like half full. It is heaving like it's a summer holidays. It's a, I, I thought it I, wasn't I, summer holidays yet, but yeah, now Yeah, but it's, it's different for Scotland, isn't it? Yeah, like different parts right, of the country. Oh, do you know what? It's weird being back in such a busy sort of seaside tiny resort. It's absolutely rammed. But it's nice. But it's not, it's not as pretty there. as I thought it would be. No, no, there's not. I don't know, we've only been down two streets, so maybe if we go up and that way, it might be a bit more, but I don't think we'll need three, three hours here, do you? No. How about we walk back up, go see if we can find a, a chippy. Take, a, it, take it back to the van. And take it back to the van. Yeah, sounds good. Cool. This way. So I think it's only really busy here because they do boat tours out to an island where you can see puffins and seals and things. Because uh, this harbour is still a very much a working harbour, got all the locks and pops and all the boats coming in. So, so the overflow car park's pretty much full now. We've escaped back to the van to come and have a bite to eat. I'm just sat up here on the worktop having some chips. Mm -hmm. Chips, curry sauce, mushy peas. Checking that no one's going to block us in. People are starting to double park here and it means that these motorhomes and us are not going to be able to get out because we can't swing around. Do you want to move now or...? There's my lunch on the floor. Well, we got out at the right time, I think. I think if we hadn't come back, we would have been up shit creek. Oh, there's space to park on there. Are you going for it? Oh, God, babe. We didn't, oh. we didn't spend a small fortune. A small fortune on a lift kit for no reason. Just want to say these chips are absolutely amazing. I would give them a good eight out of ten. Oh yeah. What seems like out of nowhere, Northumberland is quickly turning into Cornwall in August. It is absolutely rammed everywhere. We have just pulled up along the side of a beach. It looks like the parking for it is just along the road. So we've just managed to find a spot and we're just going to head to the beach and just stretch our legs, get outside. So this is where we've parked. You can just see all the cars twinkling off into the distance. 
A lot of these beaches in Northumberland, as well as being beautiful, are protected wildlife habitats. So on quite a few of them there's dog bands and the rest of them tend to be dogs on a lead. There's not very many where dogs can just run freely, so... So Ben and I were just talking about what our favourite beaches are that we've ever been to because we were saying this would be perfect if it just had the sunset over the sea, the sun's actually setting behind us so it would be just the cherry on the cake here if the sunset there and it got us talking to some of the beaches in Bali like those sunsets, I've never experienced anything like it before um, and there's actually a beach in Spain we went to just between Cadiz and Portugal that was just these huge sand dunes and was just absolutely epic. It had amazing surf as well. But yeah, let us know in the comments what your favorite beach is ever, like the best beach that you've ever been to. And uh, yeah, we can start making a list. We couldn't resist coming back for one more night to the park that we stayed at last night on Budal Bay. It is just pure magic here. The road quietens down at night and right now the bay is just like glass. There's a paddle board out, a paddle water. There's a paddle board out on the water and it is just so still. guys right how is this for a small world so yesterday we were deciding where to go today we we're looking on the map and we thought we'd head further down south i say further down south like half an hour down the coast um, to a little village called Craster, which has had amazing recommendations and apparently it's a really nice walk to a nearby castle so we decided to do that last night we woke up this morning to an instagram message from a guy called keith who not only lives in Craster, was born in Craster, and has offered us a safe space to park our van because the car park apparently in Craster can be a bit tight. I was like, yeah, if you you know if you want to park up near me, you know I know a spot. What are the chances of that? The morning that we're heading to Craster, somebody from Craster <laughs> offers offers us a space, and they're big into motorhoming. They got their own camper van, offered us to use their laundry and water and stuff. Gave them a call this morning. It sounds really lovely. So that is where we're headed this morning. So we just had a lovely little stroll along to the castle, it was really nice and easy. We're not going in because we've got river with us, but we just found a little spot on the rocks here by the sea. The castle is incredible, just like rising out of the sea and just all these like ruined towers, it just looks amazing. Look, there's not much of the castle, but the I the setting of it is really nice. Yeah, I think the fact there's not much of it left just makes it even more dramatic. It's this huge ruin. It looks like it's been ruined by dragon fire, that's what I keep thinking. Two dolphins. I've just seen two dolphins come out. They're just over there. No. Oh, I'm going to go down. No, they've gone, they're going over this way now. They're all over. Oh, there they are. Oh, wow. There's a few of them, babe. There's fun. more. Yeah. Pat's off the chest. When she says she sees an animal, it only turns out to be a bench, a tree, a log. But rock. this time, a rock. But this time, smashed it. Pot of dolphins. Oh, no. Thank you. So, I've got two peppered smoked mackerel, one normal smoked mackerel, and one world famous Craster Kipper. God, how was a mouthful? So, that was an amazing morning down at Craster and going over to Dunstanford Castle. Can't believe we saw dolphins. 
I don't think it came across on camera, but that was like the first time I've ever seen dolphins. Can you believe it as well? Like being like living in Devon for so long. Exactly. Northumbria is the the county that just keeps on giving. Yeah, I it's been amazing. Literally love it. And Craster was amazing. Such a beautiful little village. And thank you so much to Keith for reaching out about the little private parking space because it yes. definitely helped thank us you, out. Thank you. Keith and his partner Lisa are such awesome people. We sat and had a chat with them for a little bit. They've got a van and are heading over to Austria. So safe travel guys and I hope we bump into you again on the road at some point in the future. We've just put up into this little car park. Gonna have some lunch and then maybe head down to the beach in a bit. See what's around. We're just tired out from this morning in the sun, aren't you little one? Just as a side note, just want to say how good the aircon has been. We've used it a few times in this glorious heat the past couple of days. It's been getting pretty hot in here, especially for Little River, and the aircon has been amazing, keeping it nice and cool. She's really comfortable, we're comfortable. Everyone's comfortable. This is the world famous Craster. Craster? Yeah, this is the Craster Kippers. This is the world famous Craster Kippers. Da, 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 da. Ooh, this looks good. Smells so good. Mm. Mm. Okay, don't worry, I've checked, there's no bones. Good girl, River is literally, she is taking my fingers off. You, you okay. like that, don't you? Okay, right. Oh, guys, this is. Is it nice? Mmm. That's really good. Somebody enjoyed the fish so much. Look, she's on the bloody table licking the crumbs off. River, come on. Mm. Yeah, you have to warm it on that. Do you want a dish or a plate? Uh, dish. <laughs> So we're having a movie night in the van tonight. Ben and I have quite different tastes when it comes to films, don't we? We do, and complete music. opposites. <laughs> and so the way we get around that is we take it in turns to pick. And I think it works very well because we end up watching films we would never normally watch and probably never normally agree to watch. That's very true. But... And we have found some gems, haven't we? No horror films and no Foreign films. Foreign, uh, not, not, not foreign film, no. Subtitled, subtitled films. Subtitled films, yeah. Um, which I, I don't mind watching, but you're not a fan of. No. Tonight not. is my choice, and we're watching No Country for Old Men. It's one of my faves, and you've not seen it before. I've not seen it, it's really good. I like it, yeah, so far. It's a classic. Hope you're hungry. How do you know he's not on his way to Odessa? Northumberland, we love you. This has been absolutely amazing. Yeah, it has been so far two weeks of fantastic exploring, beaches, walks. Highly recommend you put Northumberland on your list. Please give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe and we should catch you guys next week. Bye. Bye. The ducks and the birds are, um, I don't know what they're doing. To me. <laughs> head now to a little camp. No, what we're we doing? Yeah, so, so we're gonna head off now before the tide rises. Oh, what's that little bird doing? Get out of the road! Get out of the road! He's having like a dry bath. Yeah, like a little dust bath. That's all. River! River, come here. You see a few beaches. River, what's your favourite beach? Is it Ilfracombe was the first beach you went on? Ilfracombe. Just to see